This is Josette Rigsby with CMSY. I'm here at Lucene Revolution with... Otis Gospodnetic from Semitex. Okay, we, can you repeat that again for our audience? So your firm really deals in search analytics or metadata about search. Um, so that's kind of like looking in a mirror of a mirror because you could, you know, get the data and it's data about the data and keep going. Um, why do you feel that search analytics are so important? Um, it's super important because it drives, or it should be driving, a number of uh, decisions around search. Uh, things like uh, relevance tuning for search, um, design, design decisions around um, how search is exposed on the site, mm -hmm. uh, documents that are relevant, important to the audience, uh, topics that people need uh, are after, things mm -hmm. like that. It's, um, it's super important, but as I found out during the talk, people don't use it. People okay. don't have these tools that tell them what's going on. Um, so in your experience, um, are you starting to see people be more concerned about search metadata? Um, or is it pretty much um, it's, it's something that you're still trying to educate people on? It's a, it's a mix of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason why I wanted to give this talk uh, about search analytics is to educate people mm -hmm. because it's amazing to me that people don't use it, mm -hmm. don't have these tools in place even when their business depends on search functioning well mm -hmm. um, but I do see some reactions as in people have come to me after the talk and said yeah, everything you said we really need that mm -hmm. we really should know everything that or these some of these things that you mentioned mm -hmm. I said do you know no do you know what your top queries are uh, for, for your search engine no mm -hmm. Do you know how many f uh, queries are failing? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's the reality today, apparently. Okay. So, it's, um, are search analytics the only service that your firm offers? Uh, no, it's not. Um, it's something that um, so, Semitext has been around since about 2007, uh -huh. and uh, we offer services around search and, and big data and da data analytics using uh, tools like Lucene, Solar, Elasticsearch, as well as. Hadoop and HBase uh -huh. and related um, open source projects. So primarily open source? Um, yeah, uh, exclusively open source. Exclusively open source. Except, and we use them for in our consulting e engagements, uh -huh. development engagements, but we, are, we have also developed some products that mm -hmm. you can, around search, that you can simply download and use. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have been mentioned as sort of must-haves uh -huh. in, in various talks here. So what would be an example of one of those must-have tools? Auto completion, okay. uh, something that I, again, it's another of those things that 99% of the companies should have, but mm -hmm. about 2% have. Mm -hmm. um, one of the uh, presenters mentioned how he knows of a use case of, oh, um, of a use case where a company, e-commerce company, added autocomplete functionality to to their site, mm -hmm. and uh, that made um, multi-million dollar difference at, uh, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, something very simple, nothing okay. sophisticated. So um, speaking of that, I mean obviously that had a direct quantitative impact. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you, if someone is starting on a new search program, mm -hmm. um, what would you say are must-have metrics? Like at a minimum, um, you should know these things about your search program. Uh, there are, I would say, two, two sides to this. Mm -hmm. One is uh, various metrics from search analytics mm -hmm. field. Uh, which I'll specifically mention. And the other one that I also find people don't always uh, do is actually performance monitoring. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes uh, people have um, sort of basic monitor monitoring tools, uh, but mm -hmm. not, not tools that are very uh, search engine specific. Mm -hmm. So in this, this conference, probably 99% of the people use solar. Mm -hmm. And there are some solar specific Mon uh, performance metrics that mm -hmm. uh, you should know about, that mm -hmm. you should watch, that you should monitor, that you should uh, um, react to when, when they go beyond some thresholds. Mm -hmm. um, so the report uh, about cash utilization, uh, mm -hmm. the time it takes to warm up uh, a new s index searcher in solar, things mm -hmm. like that you need to know about. That's on search performance metrics. And we have uh, a service that we're about to announce, mm -hmm. uh, software as a service type mm -hmm. of service that you can send your data to uh, very easily mm -hmm. and have all kinds of reports about your... Mm -hmm. So you basically send it asynchronously? Um, yeah, so well, um, let's say asynchronously. Data is collected 
on, on, on servers that run mm -hmm. uh, the search engine and is sent not in, in near real time, okay. let's call it, periodically mm -hmm. to us uh, where it's collected, aggregated, analyzed mm -hmm. and put into pretty charts. Mm -hmm. and so those are search report, uh, search uh, performance metrics and the other one side is analytics mm -hmm. uh, which where you need to know percentage of your queries that are failing that are giving you uh, giving your users zero hits mm -hmm. which is bad or uh, queries that people were that result in uh, that give results that nobody clicks on mm -hmm. or um, most popular queries mm -hmm. which show which which tells you um, what people are really after on your site and mm -hmm. so on